Hi ladies, welcome back to my channel. I have done this type of video before where I show you how I cover my dark circles under my eyes, but I've recently discovered a different technique using some other products and I wanted to share that with you today because I think it's kind of improved the appearance of my dark circles and I think it would really help you out if you um, took a look at this and perhaps it would help you too. I do have very severe dark circles. Um, you'll see when I have my makeup off that they are quite red as opposed to just being kind of grayish or brownish. Um, so I've always struggled to hide that red and I recently discovered using the green color corrector to neutralize the red is a lot helpful. Um, a lot more helpful, I should say, than just using the peachy and pink types of color correctors I've used in the past. So I'm going to demonstrate that for you today. So uh, I do hope that you enjoyed this and find this helpful. Also, if you are new here, hello, my name is Maria, and I normally make fashion videos and some beauty, all directed towards being elegant and sophisticated and ageless and timeless, of course and I hope that you'll consider subscribing so you can see more content like this. I do try to post at least one video per week, so be sure to hit that notification bell so that you don't miss the next video. And I will get right into this tutorial right now, so let me rewind the tape a little bit and get my makeup off, and I'll show you what I did. All right, here I am with my face partially done. I've done a little bit of SPF, tinted SPF, and I've done my eyes a little bit and my eyebrows, but I'm going to move on to my under eyes right now. And as you can see how red they are, I do have a ring light on right now, so I'm not quite sure if you're getting the full effect of it. Let me see if I can turn it off and you can see. If you can see, I think that might be a better look of it as far as how red they are, how much of a bag I have. I have a lot of indenting here and a lot of puffiness right here. And to try to camouflage that is really difficult. I feel like my bags are more severe than a lot of other people that put out these types of videos. Um, I definitely have a lot of a bag and the darkness. so. That is definitely much more difficult to combat, but I'm going to give it my best shot. I have recently been experimenting with the green concealer. It's a color corrector from Lancome. And I've been trying the peach concealers for the longest time, but I always felt that you can still see all this redness through it. and. Knowing the color wheel, I know that green cancels out red, so I finally thought, let me try the green color corrector because that should hopefully cancel all this redness out and give me a more neutral color um, under my eyes. So I've been experimenting with it and I think it's been going pretty well. I'm going to show you what I do. Um, first of all, a little goes a long way. This stuff is very pigmented and very potent, so I try to use a little bit at a time and I'll build on it as I need it. And I just kind of apply it. It's a little difficult to look at it in this tiny little screen on the camera. So I'm gonna maybe flip down to my mirror here so that I can see. And I know this looks really crazy right now that it's so green. I try to apply it only where it's red. So I do have a lot of redness all through that area. I will take my sponge and try to blend out some of it because I don't want it 
showing under everything, but I do want it to completely cancel it out. And also, if I can mention, my skin under my eyes, because of all the abuse I've put it through the years to cover up these dark circles, these are hereditary dark circles. I've had them since I was a little child, and um, all through school, high school, everything, I mean, I've always had them. I've always been teased, oh, you look so tired, um, oh, are you on drugs? I wasn't allowed to wear makeup for much of my youth and, you know, these were out in the open. Everyone can see them and I was always teased about them. So it's always been something I've been extremely self-conscious about. When I look in the mirror, that's all I see is my dark circles in my bags. Whether or not I have makeup on, I feel like I see them. So I've always tried so hard to cover them up. Yes, one day I will try to have a lower blepharoplasty. I absolutely am striving for that as one of my goals as I get a little bit older. But for now, I'm trying my best to cover them. And so let's see how this looks right now. Leaving it like this. Oh, so I was as I was saying, I think I need a little bit more. The crepiness. So it's always a struggle because I need to put on so much to cover up this darkness. But then the more I add on, the more it seeps into the wrinkles, the more it gets, um, the crepiness comes through. Uh, no matter what type of, I've tried primers under my eyes. I've tried putting um, eye cream under my eyes. I mean, none of it quite helps. It's just the skin has just aged that much and I'm just doing the best I can. And um, yeah, it's what I have to deal with. So if you out there have a miracle primer or un something under your eyes that completely smooths it out and is a miracle product, please tell me in the comments below. I would love to know that because um, as of now, I have not discovered anything that I'm happy with. And you see, even as you said, even as I'm like trying to blend it in, I'm pulling it away from my eyes and the darkness is showing through again. So this is a daily struggle to get this to like be Camouflaged. Okay, I'm going to leave it like that. And I'm going to go in now with my concealer that I'm currently using. This is the Stay Naked from Urban Decay. And I used two colors. So I used the 30NN and I used the 40NN. So the 40 is going to go on the thick part of my bag to recess it because a darker color helps recess uh, puffiness and that sort of thing. Whereas the lighter color I'm going to put in the um, in the hollow area of the bag. So that's going to help it pop out and hopefully kind of even everything out. So look at this. I touched it again by mistake and I just completely removed the green. So that's kind of aggravating. And also I'm talking and this is drying as I'm talking. So normally I have to work a little bit quicker to get this covered up. Because as it dries, then it does um, pull off the skin and it makes it more difficult to work with. So um, yeah, doing the best I can. I'm by no means a makeup artist. I've just tried to cover these up for the last 40 years. So I'm going to apply this to the heavy part of the bag and then the lighter shade. I'm going to just put right here. And I like to bring this out like kind of a little bit of a, of a highlighter. So I know that looks like a lot. 
Believe me, I blend it all in. Take my beauty blender to get the rest of it out. So, there you go. I do set it with powder because I otherwise it just kind of shifts around and moves around and before I know it it's just in my crease like within seconds and that's just the way my eyes are they just I don't know got to do the best you can so you can see before and after Um, let me close my ring light so you can see in natural light. It's kind of dark in here, but how that looks. And I think I still will put a little bit more highlighter because you can see I have like a indent here. So the indent comes all the way around. It's like a ring under my eye of um, hollowness. Um, I did have filler a couple of years ago, but it's pretty much gone now, and I probably need it again. Absolutely. <laughs> so, yeah, let me try to highlight that area a little bit more so that it pops out a little. With the ring light on, you can't really see it as much as you can when I turn it off. But I'm going to stop there because... If I keep going, I can just go crazy with it and just spend all day on it. And at some point, it is what it is. And I just can't correct it any more than I can. So, okay. All right. So I'm going to put just the tiniest bit of powder. And lately, I've liked using this... Um, it Cosmetics by Bye Pores. I'm using the translucent color. And I just use a little bit. I have this just little teensy tiny little um, Bobbi Brown concealer brush. I've had for ages. I try to tap off as much as I can. And what I do is since I have the most wrinkles directly under my eye, I try to put it there um, with just a little bit on the rest of my eye. I mean, no matter what, then the it just makes it look really dry and cakey. So I don't know if I'm using the wrong powder. If anyone out there has a better suggestion of a powder that leaves more of a silky looking um, appearance that doesn't get it so um, dry looking, uh, that would really help me. So um, please tell me in the comments below what powder you're using, if anything. Um, but I try to... First of all, make sure that the little wrinkles in my eyes, like right here, um, are kind of blended in. Because that's where it tends to go first. And then I kind of try to stretch my skin out, so I make a funny face. And I just do the littlest bit right there, so. Okay, I'll do the other eye and I'll come back and show you how it looks. Okay, so that's the finished product. I've done both eyes. I do like to throw a little finishing spray on there. And I'm just using this Urban Decay All Nighter. I've been using this for a while. I really like it. Helps hydrate them a little bit. So I'd love to hear from you. Let me know if you've tried this green uh, color corrector what your thoughts are on this. I certainly seem to be enjoying it so far, um, but if there's a better product out there that is more of a miracle, 
cure than this, please tell me because I'm always on the hunt for the next best thing. And I really hope you enjoyed this. I hope it was helpful. I do appreciate you taking the time to watch. And if you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. I do really appreciate your support and any comments that you have, leave them down below um, because I do want to hear from you. And I hope that you'll subscribe. This channel is mostly about fashion and beauty for those who want to look elegant and ageless and sophisticated. And I uh, would love to keep in touch with you. So please go ahead and subscribe. I, I do try to post one video at least per week. So I'd love to see you again back very soon. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you very soon. Bye-bye.